Hi, I'm Chris Polk, and I'm going to show you how to add a Pinterest button to your browser. Um, I'm on a Mac computer, so I'm, I'm going to be installing it on my Safari browser. But basically, you um, open your Pinterest account, and um, or you can register for a new account before you do that if you don't have one. Um, but how you do that is you go to this web address. We'll put a link to that in this video. So basically, once you're there, all you have to do is look and get the browser button. There we go. We're going to install. And the browser button is there. We're ready to pin. Uh, it just makes your workflow a lot easier. Um, it's, it's about that simple. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to pin. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to a different uh, site and there's some articles here that I think are pretty interesting. Um, this is Dwell Magazine and they do um, some really creative spaces and that kind of thing. So I'm going to click on small spaces and let's say there's an article here that I want to pin. And you'll notice that a lot of online magazines already have a Pinterest button um, attached to their photos. And this is something as a developer that you can do when you're, if you've got an online site and you, you have things that you want people to be able to pin. But um, here, let's say I want to save this article about this backyard retreat. Well, with my Pinterest button up here in the browser, all I have to do is click on it and it opens up and it allows me to choose the photo that I'd like to pin. And so I'm going to pin this one. And then the next thing that happens is it's going to ask me where I want to pin that. So I'm going to create a board and I'm going to name this board and we'll just use this one for about um, small houses. Once it's saved, it gives you the opportunity to go in and see that pin on your board. And that's exactly how I'd want it. So we'll just leave it there. You do have the option to edit that or to send this if you wanted to, uh, let's say you have a client and you want them to take a look at this because you're going to do a little tiny retreat in their backyard. You can send this pin to them just by clicking on that and then you can pick who you want it pinned to. Or you can edit the pin and maybe you put the description of what you want it to say um, or where this is located, anything like that. So um, this is Southern Living Magazine and let's say I really like, you know, a design that I find in here. And this one's kind of a nice small space. So let's say we were going to pin that. You notice that um, Pinterest button is right here so that you can automatically pin that. You can send it, you can tweet it out, or you can Facebook, um, add this to your Facebook account. But again, we're going to use the, I'll show you another way. You can right click. And as long as that pin button is in your browser, you can also pin it from here. And it pretty much reacts the same way. It comes back and it gives you um, the opportunity to choose the photo that you want and to add to the board. And again, we're going to put that on small spaces. So that's it. It's about that easy to put the Pinterest button on your bar. And it's about that easy to actually use it and to save um, articles or photos, anything that you like. And if you like this video, be sure to like it and to subscribe and to share this video. Have a great day. Thanks.